A lot of kids are heading out the door right now, lugging their heavy backpacks to the bus stop. What if we told you that one day you could own a backpack that basically floats in the air? Pat Gallen says it's not only possible, it is now a reality, folks. Hey, Pat. Hi, guys. Uh, so let me first show you my backpack. So it's got a lot of stuff in it. It can be very heavy. Um, you know, I've got my thermos, which has coffee in it, my water bottle. I've got my helmet, which... I walk around with every day. The essentials. Uh, the essentials. So then, you know, it's just filled with stuff. I've got my jacket. I've got this picture of Carson Wentz that sometimes I keep in okay. my bag. You know, books, a laptop, yes. all that stuff. So a backpack like this is stuffed with books, other stuff. It can be really heavy, about 20 plus pounds. But a professor at Penn is trying to make everyone a little lighter on their feet. So what he's come up with may look like an optical illusion, but it is a game changer. It's not magic, it's physics. This is the Hoverglide. Penn professor Dr. Lawrence Rome is the founder of Lightning Packs, the company behind Hoverglide. After working on military backpacks that could lighten a soldier's load while allowing them to electrically recharge batteries, Rome eventually transitioned to a backpack for everyday use. There's something to this movement of, of the load, so um, we took the, ge the generator out and reconfigured things, and voila, we have the ergonomic backpack. It doesn't generate electricity, but as as you move, as you run like that, the load stays at a constant height above the ground. Using suspended load technology, lead engineer Sean McIntosh says it reduces the static weight up to 86%. You know, there's a suspension system on here, so you can see that there's um, bearings that roll along the track that help it move up and down. And then there's uh, the bungee cord that's actually um, you know, giving the force for the uh, suspension and holding it in place. The backpack comes in four different sizes. But before an item like this hits the market, someone has to make sure it's ready. That's where Sean Carmody comes in. Now my job is an operational tester. So Larry came up with the concept. Sean McIntosh makes the concept into something physical, and I try my best to break it. The former Marine has taken the pack across the world where the feedback is overwhelmingly positive. We go to trade shows and show this off. We have a video clip of the backpack working. The most common um, thing anybody says they walk by and anybody that's been in is like, oh, I wish I had this in when I was in. Sean allowed me to join him on a test spin with two versions of the backpack. Now they're hover glide packs. <laughs> run and hover? Let's go. All right, let's run. <laughs> and as you can see, the backpack appears to be floating. I think I'm used to it already. <laughs> it's like, no, it doesn't feel like anything. It's unbelievable. Wow. So people around the world are believers. Dr. Rome and his crew launched a Kickstarter campaign on September 19th and asked, for $75,000 over a 40-day period, the Hoverglide blew through that 75K threshold in three hours. So with 25 days to go, they have nearly 500 backers and over $212,000 to help make this idea a reality. So instead of having this stuff jammed inside a bag like I always have, You've got the hover glove. I think this is a great, I still have shoulder problems from, mm. from school, from lugging easily. that thing. You can easily run, and for the military, it's fantastic yeah. because they can lug sometimes up to 100 pounds in their backpack, and the thing just kind of yeah. floats behind yeah. you. Now, it doesn't take off all the weight, but it takes away a lot of it, so yeah. it's very great. cool. Very you can cool. get around faster, but a whole bunch of people are going to be stopping you, asking you what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, You're exactly. like, wait, am it's I neat. seeing things? Optical illusion, kind of, yeah. yeah. Pretty Thank cool. you, Pat. Thanks.